Hello everyone, my name is R. Satya Priya. I am working as an assistant professor in Department of English, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. In this video, I am going to talk about a prominent, important and renowned writer of the 16th century. Yes, the greatest Elizabethan playwright, it is none other than William Shakespeare. We all have to know William Shakespeare because he is such a praiseworthy and notable writer in English literature that he never fade in each and every decade in future also. So let us discuss the important details about his theatre, audience and fools, all those things. First, the picture I have shown here is William Shakespeare Theatre. We all come to know that William Shakespeare is not one of the university wits, but he called, he is called as the greatest Elizabethan playwright. We all know he wrote 37 plays and 154 sonnets. He was also a normal man like us. But once he went to London to find a career, he joined with a group of actors, Lord Chamberlain men. They are called as Lord Chamberlain men. There he started to write some dramas for the performance. Then he too had an interest to acting. He started to act. Then he gradually developed and he became a shareholder of this Globe Theatre. Of course, in this picture, we, we are seeing the year Globe Theatre, which was built in the year 1599, May. And next slide, we are uh, seeing the Globe Theatre, it is an open arena and where audiences are filled with in this arena. So once uh, it was uh, built in the year 1599 and it was uh, destroyed by a fire in 1613 accidentally. Then in this picture again it was rebuilt. So it is called as modern Shakespeare globe that was built in the year 1997 and uh, with a note. So Henry V, the play Henry V was first enacted in this modern Shakespeare globe theatre. So these are all the important information about uh, theatre details of Shakespeare. Next uh, let me discuss a uh, Shakespeare audience. And why we are praising Shakespeare as greatest uh, playwright, even we have Christopher Marlowe, Thomas Kitts and so many writers in English literature. The main reason is in Shakespeare theatre, every audience, because his plays are narrated for all the common people, not only for the rich people, not only for the queens. Every audience can listen to his play and every audience can enjoy his play. And Shakespeare audiences were very rich, upper middle class and the lower middle class. So all the type of people are called as audience. In those days, in the 16th century, if the normal class people, if they pay one penny, they are called as groundlings. So in this picture, you can see that is they can stand near the stage, that is yard. And if you are, if they are paying another penny, one more amount, they could sit down a bench and they can watch the play. And if they are paying more penny, for example, rich people, if they are paying more penny, they can sit comfortably on a cushion and they can watch play. And um, if you want upper galleries, because in the previous slide, we saw how the Globe Theatre seems. It has some stories, which means it has uh, some floors. So if the upper class people, if they pay more penny, they can go to the gallery. So that is cost. The cost is six pence. And now, we have to talk about Shakespeare fools because in we are referring they are as fools but in real they are the wit fellows. Why? What is the reason behind why Shakespeare introduced fools in this play? The main part is to give some relaxation. Even though they are called as fools, fest and jesters, they are conveying a wonderful and meaningful message to the audience. So here you can read the line that is, Shakespeare fools are clever peasants or commoners. They use their wits to outdo people higher social standing. So mostly the fools are, uh, even in a joke manner, they are conveying an excellent message to the audience. You can uh, see an important quote and also famous quote of William Shakespeare. A fool thinks himself to be wise, but a wise man knows himself to be a fool. Such a wonderful quote that everybody has to realize. So that's all in this video. And uh, we have to talk more about uh, William Shakespeare. So let us all, let me meet you all in the next video. Thank you.